in this module we will talk about transport across the plasma membrane. First of all I would like to mention that the plasma membrane or the cell membrane which is made up of a lipid bilayer has special structures called aquaporins that facilitate movement of water across the membrane. Water moves across the membrane in a passive transport, trans, transport manner which means that it will move due to concentration gradient and it is not a process that requires energy. For example, if we put a cell in a solution which has a higher number of in a hypertonic solution which means the concentration of salt is less inside the cell than it is outside the cell, the water molecules will leave the cell and enter the outside domain. This is a process similar to diffusion in molecules which are moving from higher concentration to lower concentration. We have said this is a process which is generating randomness or entropy is increasing and it is favored process because we have talked about it how it can affect the free energy. Systems tend to systems that generate randomness are preferred in nature. If we put the same cell or same type of cell in a solution which has same number of salt molecules and water molecules on outside the cell as they are inside the cell there will be no change in the cell. If we on the other hand put the cell in hypotonic solution meaning the concentration of water is higher outside and the concentration of salt particles is low on the outside as compared to the cell, the cell will absorb water, it will keep on absorbing water till it bursts. Again this is a process which does not require energy, it is gradient dependent from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. Now let us look at some of the proteins that can facilitate transport across the plasma membrane. These proteins have a special characteristic to them. These proteins have hydrophobic amino acids on the outside which allows these proteins to be embedded in the plasma membrane because they have to interact with the hydrophobic domain of the lipid molecules. These protein molecules are hollow inside and the inside of these protein molecules is lined by amino acids which are hydrophilic, they like water and they have water in them. This allows these proteins when they receive a signal to open up allowing a special type of molecule to pass through. These proteins do not open all the time, they only open in response to a special signal. I would also like to mention that there is two types of transports, active transports. Primary active transport in which a molecule is moved across the plasma membrane using the energy from ATP hydrolysis. There is another type of active transport which is called secondary active transport in which ATP is not directly used but it is iron or concentration, iron concentration gradient that is used to move molecules across the plasma membrane this is iron concentration gradient indirectly uses ATP energy. Although energy is required it is not directly taken from ATP. In this category I would like to mention three different categories. The uni, uniport transporters, these are the channels, these are the proteins which are going through the plasma membrane and they are hollow from inside. They allow only one molecule to pass through and one direction only. Symport allows two, two different molecules to pass through in the same direction. Antiport allows two molecules to, to transverse plasma membrane in opposite directions. So we have uniport, symport and antiport. In next module we look at the vesicle formation.